guys, Philip Wiggum here with the Vocal Water Technologies. Today, we're gonna to talk about disc filter maintenance. So before we do any work to the disc filter, we wanna make sure that the selector switches for the drum drive and the backwash pump are in the off position. We wanna make sure that we follow our lockout tagout procedures. So the first step of inspecting your nozzles is to open all the sliding covers over the whole filter. The second thing you want to do is loosen the sanitary couplings on the spray header. The reason we loosen these is because there's a gasket in between the two sanitary flanges and you don't want to roll that gasket and damage it. So all you want to do is give it a little bit of a turn and loosen it about a half turn. Once the sanitary couplings are loose, then you can raise the spray wands out of the filter. The next thing we want to do is close this valve. So once you've got the valve closed, then we want to come to the control panel and we want to turn the pump into hand. Once the pump's running, we're going to come back and we're going to throttle this valve open, slowly start to open it until we get a good spray on our, on our nozzles. So what we're looking for here, as you can see that we've got some plugged nozzles. We want a spray pattern like this. These nozzles on the back end have been plugged with debris. Once we've identified which nozzles are plugged, then we can come turn the pump back off. At this time, <clears throat> We've seen when we had good spray out of a couple of these, but a couple of these are plugged. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the nozzle. And as you can tell, there's some biological growth or something that's, that's, that's got the nozzle plugged up. So once you get the nozzles removed, the plug nozzle removed, then the easiest way to clean it is to tap it on a piece of pipe, or sometimes I'll use the top of the filter. Um, if you've got a small air compressor with a blower, you could easily just blow them out. But you have to remove the nozzle before you do that. One of the important things when you're reinstalling the nozzle is not to over tighten it. You want it to be hand tight. You don't want to cross thread it. Um, the nozzle also has to be orientated correctly so that you get the correct spray pattern on the filter panel. So as you can see here, we want it at about a 10 degree angle. So once you've went through, cleaned all the plug nozzles, then you can lower the spray ones back into the filter and don't forget to tighten your sanitary couplings back up that we loosened at the beginning. Once the spray bars are back in place, always remember to open this valve. Once this valve's open, we've got to put our backwash pump back into auto. 